welcome back to a new video in today's video i have got a new flexi hand here i'll i'll tell you about her in a minute um i'm going to be using my nelchemy a8 acrylic brush i have got nelchemy's genesis acrylic i'm using crystal which is the clear i don't know why i always get lily out which is their white acrylic but i think the last two sets i've got it out and not used it <laughs> I'm going to use peach, which is the it's a cover peach cover color. That's going to be like our nail bed color. I'm going to be using salt stone, which is the white gel polish. Um, I'm going to be using some other things as well, which I will mention as we go through the video. Um, but to start with, I'm going to create an extended nail bed. So I'm going to do this using the peach cover color. So I have sped this up ever so slightly but not um, only a little bit, because I know you guys preferred preferred it in real time. So while I am shaping out my smile line, I'm just going to tell you about the Flexi Hand. So Sharon from the Flexi Hand Australia kindly sent me some, um, and she sent me a new hand. Right, I don't know if you know, but she's got a new Lux collection. Actually, it's probably not as new as I think it is but it's a new collection on the website it's called the Lux collection and there's a hand and you can buy separate fingers um the hand is posed slightly different to the original flexi hand um in my opinion it looks a little bit more feminine and it looks it looks like it would take nicer photos because of how on the original the fingers are kind of spread out a bit but on this one they I don't know it looks nice anyway um the Lux collection, they have glitter in them. So can you see my, I've got a dark skin tone on my flexi fingers from the Lux collection, but they've got this beautiful gold glitter through them. I really like that. I think it looks really nice. I mean, it's not going to be for everyone, um, but I love it. Go and check out the, the, the new hand as well on her website if you do buy from the australian website which is the, the the flexi hand that is where they come from they come from australia from sharon in australia you can use my code natmug10 um if you yeah so you'll save 10 percent but also you think about the exchange rate um it works out cheaper with the exchange rate as well which is really good so you'll save 10 percent plus you get a little bit off because of the exchange rate and delivery is really quick i think they took about a week to get to in fact they took yeah exactly a week to get to me from australia which is brilliant <laughs> so there we go right um these are mini blossoms from nail sugar i absolutely love these they're so fun i'm going to use these in the set today so i'm going to go in the, into the, the work on the middle finger with the mini blossoms i've just put a little bit of the crystal acrylic only like a small wet bead and i'm going to place the little blossoms on that unset acrylic and it's weird because i'm used to saying uncured gel <laughs> but it's not it's you know obvs it's acrylic um and i'm yeah i'm gonna I'm going to put some more at the bottom as well. I didn't put much at the bottom. So basically, we're going to do like a... We're going to ombre the cover colour over these peach... No. We're going to... The peach is the... I can't speak. <laughs> it's Friday and I can't speak. I'm going to ombre the peach cover colour over these mini blossoms. But we're not going to cover them completely because you're going to still see them at the bottom. I really like doing that. I like ombreing the cover colour over the glitter. I think that's quite nice. So we filled that, the whole free edge, and a little bit up the top. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another little bit of clear acrylic where the blossoms finish at the top, just to smooth that area out so that it kind of, it just makes it easier to put the peach cover colour on. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. It's just something that I thought I'd do. I'm also going to be using violet, which is the most beautiful pastel violet colour. I absolutely love it. We're going to do a full nail of this on the... I think I've sped this up a little bit more as well. I made this bead a little bit too wet. <laughs> but never mind. It doesn't matter. And I'm, Yeah, so we're going to do a full pinky of this. Um, I don't think it is a strength powder, so I do cap this in clear at the end. 
I need to put a little bit at the bottom because there wasn't quite enough to cover the whole nail. There we go. Also, I don't know how I managed it because this has never happened before, but I made this index finger. We're going to do the index finger, the a full nail of violet as well. I made the index finger. that I must have pushed the nail in too far or done it after I checked the lengths because this nail is shorter than all the other nails. <laughs> oh, God. And it, it's quite noticeably shorter as well. So I'm so sorry about that. It's just one of those things, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't a proper client, eh? I'm going to put another bead, there we go, at the cuticle area and just blend it down over that first bead. I don't know what it is about the index finger on this hand. I just, I, I think it's the tips. I don't like the shape of the tips on this. These are size 5 tips. I don't know what it is about the index finger. I'd, if I was going to do a single nail, I would use the middle finger or the ring finger. I would never do it on the index finger for some reason. I'm a bit weird. Maybe it's not me. Right, I'm just trying to show you here. I'm filing around the smile line, but I'm leaving my... I'm making sure that my file is at a 90 degree angle from the tip so that you get... Maybe it's not a 90 degree angle. You get a nice, like, a nice flush wall. Because we want to apply... I want... Right, I saw Lisa Graves do this on Nail Camille's channel. I'm sure she done it with the Artisan gel paints, though, and I'm doing it with the gel polish. I didn't have as much luck as she did. I'll show you in a minute when we get back to that nail. Um, I'm just going to do the, the fade, the blend on this one. So I don't know why. I like to put a, a, bead, a bead first and blend it down. And then I'm going to put another bead out the cuticle area and, and blend that down, too. I did make this, nail too uh, this bead a little bit too big. But never mind. Never mind. Just blend that kind of over the rest of it. I've got my window open. And actually, should I say it? I'm just thinking, I can't hear the workmen. <laughs> They're going to be really noisy now, aren't they? Maybe they've all gone home early because it's Friday. Huh. That would be good. There we go. Just blend that down a little bit. So we've just sort of blended that over the pink blossoms. Not the pink ones, the mini blossoms. Oh, they come in like you get little violet ones, peach ones, kind of rose goldy ones, fuchsia kind of pinky ones. They're really pretty. Yeah, so right. Around this wall, we are going to paint some salt stone gel polish. Don't, don't worry if it's not neat. Because when you come to file it, You'll, you'll file away the stuff that's on the top anyway. Look, I am so messy. <laughs> I'm going to show you me doing a little bit of filing on this as well. Because you can see that really fine white line coming together when I file it. I love it so much. It's really satisfying. It's really satisfying. Put your teeth in, Nats. <laughs> I think it's one of those days. It's been one of those weeks, actually. Oh, God. There's just... There's always something going on, isn't there? This is the second coat, by the way. I've cured that first coat. And then I'm going to go in with the second coat. Just to make that line a bit thicker. But it's going to be like really thin. You're going to have the smile line, a really thin white line. And then the colour. I'm putting violet now around the gel polish i made it i made it to um i should have blended it down a bit more instead of worrying about pushing it up i'm not quite sure because i've never done one of these before if i wasn't going to put glitter on the free edge of this now it would have i'm sure it would have been fine it would have worked out fine but because i put glitter on you'll see when i come to top coat that I've got like a bit of a ledge of the violet and then it goes into the glitter. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I'm not very good at explaining. And I made an absolute hash of this, honestly. It's, it, look, I spoke too soon about the workmen. You might be able to hear them now. I've got my window wide open as well. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful day. It's quite cold though. But if you're in the sun, it's not too bad. It's quite nice. Okay, so I'm just going to place some cherry blossoms on the shush, please. <laughs> <laughs> on the free edge bit i like to if i'm using like one glitter i come to the decision 
that I like to use it on at least two of the nails. But sometimes it's quite good on just one nail, like if you just want an accent nail. But I haven't got an accent nail, so I'm kind of going to do it on two. There we go. So I'm going to leave it like that. It's quite, it's really quite thick. <laughs> and I'm going to cap it. So we're going to cap all the nails. I have actually, I have sped this up this time. Um, I will do some more real-time acrylic application sets. Um, this one just, I just balls this up completely. Uh, so I just thought, oh my god, just speed it up. Get it done and dusted, Nats. Plus also this video is quite long. So yeah, I was trying to sort of shorten it a bit. Right, I'm going to just do this one as well when i put the bead on this one i put it sort of down at the sort of apex area ish and then um i sort of blend it back but the cover peach it, it, the peach is a cover color it's just strength powder so you don't have to you don't really have to cap that um i've just pressed it back just to make sure that i get uh, so that i've got enough acrylic on the nail to make my i want the shape to make the shape you know, you want your apex and everything. I'm going to put... Look at the state of it. Oh, my God. Like, oh, I don't know what's happening. I've got to put a bit there because there's just going to dip. <laughs> Dippy doodles. Like, what are you up to today, Nats? Nobody knows. It's fine. It's Friday. I'm going to let myself off. Right, look. I'm going to start filing this bit. Now, the only thing is... Is I think I made the nail too... I don't know, but I started to file. Like, if you look at the size in a minute, hang on. Look, my e-file is not powerful enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't think you're going to see it in here, but you might see it when I come to file when I come to top coat. But look, don't file the wire for goodness sakes. Can you see we're getting that nice fine white line? I love that. Right, so it's done. They're all filed. And we're going to top coat using Nail Camille's No Wipe Top Coat. I love this nail. Really pleased with this nail. Let me know in the comments what you think of the glittery flexi hands, by the way. They do them in all different skin tones as well. Not just the, not just this darker skin tone. Um, but I like to have a... I like to have kind of like a pale skin tone and a darker skin tone. Because I think different like colours look good on different skin tones. So I like to... You know, do you know what I mean? It's nice to just chop and change. I haven't named this one yet, so I'll have to name this one. Look at those mini blossoms! Oh my god, they're so... Oh, by the way, they're from Nail Sugar. And you can get 10% off if you want, using code NATMUG10. <laughs> I didn't see that. Um, and then there's this one. I actually... If I hadn't... Right, look, can you see at the side? It just started to... F it, I, I... Yeah. Can you see? It looks a bit messy there. Um, I'm not quite sure. Maybe if I uh, if I'd have you, I don't know. Maybe I should probably because I've mucked up my smile line or I don't know. I do kind of know, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, just look at it from the top, and it's beautiful. <laughs> oh shush! They can't hear me. I don't know why I'm telling them to shush. Plus, also, I wouldn't tell them to shush to their faces because that's just rude. <laughs> um, right then, I'm gonna um top coat the the last two nails this this uh pinky nail was far too long so i do file it down a little bit um and this one look this one's like a short dumpy one <laughs> right at this point i didn't uh, i wasn't gonna put crystals on um so i do you'll see in a minute look at the, the I, I really struggle with the shaping on, on the index I, I keep telling you but this, I just really struggle with the index finger on this. I don't know what it is. It's just something weird about it. Right, there you go on the lamp. And then, <gasps> all these beautiful, sparkly, shiny, blingy crystals turn up this morning. Ooh! And I was like, yes, this is what we need. Right, I'm going to put some on that little stubby pinky. Not the pinky, the index. Look at this. Look at the pinky compared to the index. It's crazy. Right, look. These, I thought these would look really good on this set. So, the fuchsia blue look really cool. Uh, they're kind of like um almost like chameleon -y, so they kind of like go from fuchsia to blue they're really nice and the pink opals looked really cute as well and um i'm also going to use i was kind of going to go through them all and show you there's so many i'm gonna I'll, I'll do some more videos using these um because there's like there's tons i'm gonna use these aura ab's no 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 these aren't them 
those were the silver ABs I think that said <coughs> I was just I was looking through them here thinking hmm which shall I use oh also the look they've got clear like like the clear ab ones with no foil back in that look really cool that i might i've got to do something with them anyway i dug these out so these are the aura ab's these are like ab crystals right and then these ones are the fuchsia blue now i believe these are size ss8s i think and then i've got the row the pink opals in mixed sizes i've got some of those in a tray as well Oh, right, I've just buffed the surface. I need to cough. <coughs> I've got a tickly throat. I've buffed the sur <coughs> Oh my gosh. I've buffed the surface where I want to put the crystals. If you have never bought Crystal Totalist before from Nelchemy, um, when it arrives now, it will arrive in a pump tube thing. Um, but mine's been in a pot because this is quite old this pot um i've also got some silver caviar beads that are available from nelchemy as well and the crystal pro from scarlet center they're so shut up i don't know what they're doing it looks really weird anyway so where i've buffed the nail oh god hang on let me shut the window i want to do a swoosh right so i'm just putting my nelchemy's crystal totalist gem glue doesn't it like literally sound like they're right in my flat? It's awful. <clears throat> right, if you're not very good at or not very confident at crystal placement, do them bits at a time. I just personally prefer to do it all in one. I, I find that easier for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and then I, I'm gonna what I'm gonna start to do is normally in the center, I will use bigger crystals. That one that I wanted to use was way too big. I was like, no, that's too big. Um, but use bigger crystals especially when you're doing this kind of swoosh kind of thing i find bigger crystals in the center and then as i work my way towards the cuticle end and the free edge of the nail that's when the crystal sizes starts to shrink <sighs> i nearly had to take a breath well i did take a breath but you know what i mean so they the they, they cut it sort of tapers is that the right word i know shut <sighs> Right, so I also decided at this point that I needed to get out some smaller clear, uh, some smaller ABs and some SS4 Fuchsia Blues. They're slightly smaller than the SS8s. And can you see I'm trying to make, yeah, look, these are the, these are the smaller clears that I got out. No, not clears, they're smaller ABs. I'm gonna have to get used to all the names. Um, I had to. I wrote them down actually on a piece of paper because I will, I will. When I when I put the video, when I put the nails in the Nelchemy group, I'll have to say what crystals I've used. So I've had to write them down so I don't forget because I'm not gonna know what they are otherwise. <laughs> Especially because I've only had them for like five minutes. So as we get up towards the free edge and no as we get up towards the cuticle area and down towards the free edge we're just going to start to put like smaller stones and curve them around slightly i'm gonna put one more at the, uh do i put one more or two more at the bottom oh please shut up they, they would probably like i can see that nah, because you can see them they could probably see through into my bedroom where i am sitting right now they're probably like right she's doing her voiceover let's get back in <laughs> Oh yeah, right, I decided to place a few of the silver caviar beads on as well. I love the idea of these different sized caviar beads as well. You can have some right fun with these. I'm not going to fill every gap and space. I'm just putting, I think I only actually put about four on. But they are spaced out kind of evenly so it doesn't look weird or anything. I just didn't feel like I wanted masses of caviar beads on. Okay, and I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to pop it in the lamp. Um, but look what I do. Look what I do. <laughs> I'm such a clumsy bumhole sometimes. They were okay. I was like, oh my God, are you okay? Are you okay? My precious little crystals. <laughs> they cure for 60 seconds. 
And then, look, this is the ledge that I was talking about. You've got, like, there's this sort of ledge where it goes from violet to clear. Um, so to get rid of that, I'm just going to put, like, a little, like, a little smile. So I, I used the fuchsia, fuchsia blues and the Aura ABs here. And I literally just put five of them on. And I, I didn't want to cover the white line because I kind of like that. But I've just left them like that. Ta-da! And they're going to go in the lamp. And then I'll show you the finish nails. Oh, I also matte top coated around the crystals on the other nail. Because I, I thought it looked quite... I, I Yeah, I I had to do something with it because there was there were scuffs on it where I'd buffed it. But I was like, we're going to make it matte. It's, I'm just so sad it's too short. But I like the crystals on the mat as well because it makes them look a little bit more... I think it's, it shows them off a bit more, don't you? Anyway, um, Nelkami's website and Nelkami's um, website and discount codes and everything will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing weekend. And, um, yeah, I'll try and be a bit more with it next week. <laughs> Love you all. Bye.